Hi friends, welcome on Yourpedia and my this video is related to how not to write a mail to the professor. You know, uh, Yourpedia, uh, we, we tell you to go for cold mailing. Cold mailing means when you start mailing to professor, telling him about you and your credentials so that you get an opportunity and you have to do so many such mails. Cold mailing does not mean you just start mailing without preparation, without knowing the tricks. So mailing the professor, you need to understand professionally how the mail should be. Students make so many mistakes and you know after putting lot of effort, after mailing a lot, the destination of your mail is bin and the professor will reject your mails. Now, many students say sir I am mailing hundreds of professor, 200 professor, 500 professor getting no response. On the other side, students say I have mailed 20 professor, got one good mail, good response. And you eventually you understand you need only one good response to get one admission because as individual you cannot get admission at two different places. Now whether you get that good response in 20 mails or 2000 mail, that simply depends upon the strategy which you fo follow to write the mail. My this video is related to how not to write the mail. I got this document from in one of the I think uh, uh, my group WhatsApp group or LinkedIn uh, group or something. So I thought of sharing it with you. Now dear professors, you are writing single mail to 10 professor. Do you think you are going to get the response? Answer is no. The moment as a professor I see that this guy is mailing me also and somebody else also. I mean why should I check it? I will not even waste my time. I will reject you and put you in the bin. Professors are to be kept in BCC, so don't do that. Each professor, you have to work on each professor, you have to know his research work, you have to write very personal mail, personal in the sense that matching his work so that he gets interested in your requirement. I mean you, you tell him something which he gets attracted to and feels like okay, let's give him a chance, let's give him a chance and uh, see what he wants to tell. Dear Manas sir, I seek an opportunity to work with your esteemed research group on data science and image application. Now, literally realizing that Manas sir is not even working in that field. I mean, unless until you quote very appropriately what professor is working in, he will not respond. So, to tell in which area you want to work, you should first go through the profile of the professor. You should see in which domain is working and then you start writing to the professor. Don't uh, write um, uh, wrong things, you know, otherwise he will not see that. I am highly motivated, talented, attached a top class CV, good CGPA, multiple projects I have done, long mail you have written. You not only wasted his time, <coughs> you have wasted your time also. Again, you are not going to get a response from the professor. So, you should not write a very long mail to the point because professor will not give much time to read your mail. Within a minute he is to maximum one minute he is he will glance through your mail and he, within that minute if he finds you good he may reply you back otherwise he will be very angry and the response will be quite angry for you. I am highly impressed by you and your work and your face or whatever you want to write and again written a lot of things but nothing substantial. Don't start praising professor his work or something like that. Uh, so no uh, psychophancy is required, right? You need to be very very to the point. They are, uh, they are sitting there to see whether you have worth in you and uh, you really want that particular work or not. I sincerely request you to give me an opportunity and all these things, you know. Again, you can uh, for your son or daughter, you cannot write a mail to a professor on behalf of your uh, kid, you know. You have to write, you have grown up and you have to write it. I am very hard working and willing to learn whatever you do. You know, you need to, uh, you, these things come secondary. I am by personality hard worker, sincere, he cannot check it. Can professor check whether you are hard working or genuine or sincere or disciplined or something? No, the moment you join the lab only then he will understand. But what he can check is your research background, your work and he can check how much research work you have done of his work. The moment you drop a mail, from the mail it will get reflected that how much research you have done of the work of professor. Because if you want to impress me that professor I am the right student for you, you need to go through my research work. 
and I will clearly see that this boy has done a lot of research of my research work and he is coming to me getting impressed with my research work. Not because he wants the United States of America, he wants a good university, he wants a good lab, not that. He is coming to me because he is impressed with my work. Right? Okay, your area is a programming language, I have excellent coding experience and I love programming. The point is like programming may be part of his research work, but he is not going to give you MS or PhD in coding. So just ask from the professor what actually his research work is, not some part of it. So sir, professor, I am a very good in handling Excel sheets or coding, that is not required. You have to do that, but that is not the main thing. So you need to basically tell him very clearly what you want to do. So friends, these were some of the points which you need to focus and you read this document very very careful you can stop your video and you can read this entire document carefully what you should do what you should not do and this is basically very very relevant for all of you you know you should uh, how you should not drop a mail what you should uh, not do that is equally important as what you should do so what you should not do what you should do they are equally important i'm sure this will help you to some some extent friends so start understanding the tricks and mentors of your pdf will guide you they have regular sessions where they tell you how to start mailing the professor so just follow it and it's very very important